Before you get started with the lesson, let me give you a quick overview of how to use this series of videos. This is a series that covers Microsoft Office 2013 using documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. I'm a teacher. I work in Tolleson, Arizona at a high school called Westview High School. These assignments are selected to be exactly like what you would do in the real world. So using Office is what you'll use in a real office or in a real business. There is an assignment book that accompanies every video. Each page in the assignment book has a checklist of the things that you should accomplish in each lesson. Watch the video lesson to see how things are done. After you create your own document using the video as a model, you may have some modifications such as your own business names or your own paragraphs or your own data, but it'll look very similar. Now you can either watch the whole video through at one time or pause it as you go through it. Finally, print the document and your classroom teacher will grade it. So now, let's move on to your next assignment. Welcome to assignment number eight. This is a flow chart that we're going to create using Microsoft Publisher. You notice that I have on the screen a flow chart that shows the hiring process for crystal pools. A flow chart is simply a decision chart, something like a recipe. It tells you what to do first, what questions to ask, what actions to take. Sometimes computer programs are written as flow charts. In this case, it's a hiring process flowchart to show that first of all we receive a resume. Then we ask the question, is the person qualified? If not, then dump their resume. If yes, then put them into the interview pile, rank them, interview the best candidate, ask the question, is he willing and capable? If we think he is, then we offer her, him or her the job. Otherwise, no, repeat the process. So let's create a process in our business and show it in a flowchart. Okay, we're into Microsoft Publisher. I'm going to show you how to create a few of the links and then you get to create the process yourself. First of all, let's invent a title. I'm going to draw a title and then make it a text box. My process that I was working on is called the hiring process. Let's make the font a little larger and also let's center it. Pick a font size or color that you like. Here's a common problem with uh, with using large fonts is sometimes crystal pools gets hyphenated automatically. Other words like that. Perhaps this isn't the most proper way to fix the problem, but I'm just going to press return and start a new line. There are auto hyphening processes that you can affect in the options, but I'm not going to look at that right now. Let's go into the the flow charting process now. Let's go to the insert option and now we're going to shapes. What kind of shapes do we have? Well we have a section down here called flowchart. I'm going to say I'm going to initiate with a box and inside the box I'm going to tell me tell the person what is the first item in the decision process. Well we receive a resume. Let's uh, center this. Let's go to the home button and choose the centering for text. Perhaps highlight the text and make it a little larger. And adjust the box according to the text. Let's go back and now we're going to ask a question. I'm going to insert a flowchart diamond. A diamond is usually used for creating the questions. And I'm going to say, is the candidate qualified with a question mark. Diamonds are a little bit tricky. You have to make lots of room for the text. Once more I want to center the text. Now here's the part that might be new for you. I want to make these linked. So I'm going back to insert. I'm going to shapes down in the lines area. There's different kinds of lines. I want to show the elbow arrow connector. You'll see why it's called that in a minute. I'm going to click it and down in the center of the rectangle I'm going to click directly on the handle, the little dot in the center. Now as you look as I move my mouse I have a dotted line. I want to connect it to the diamond. It's connected. 
Now if I decide I need to move the diamond later, the connector arrow automatically follows. So that's why it's called a connector. Now after I ask the question, is the candidate qualified, I have two options. One could be yes or no. Rather than recreate a new block, I'm just going to copy this one. I'm going to right click on the edge of it, choose copy, right click out in the space beside it and choose paste. Let's push a, put a rectangle down here and my process was if they are not qualified I'm going to say no then throw it away. Okay I got a few mistakes there the spelling and the wording is too large so I'm going to right click on throw and change that to throw. Let's put another connector in insert shapes and go to the connector click here and it's connected. One more let's go to the copy and paste option. What happens if the answer is yes? Yes it is a qualified candidate yes then I'm going to say put the resume in the interview pile. Okay once more expand the text box and this font might be a little bit better if it were smaller so let's move it down one or two. Once more a connector. This time I'm going to connect from here to the top of the box. Okay, I'm going to continue making this flowchart. Notice that I have a completed flowchart on the screen. I have the questions, and I have the processes, and I have the connector arrows. What I'd like to do next is to add some formatting. I'd like to make the diamonds stand out as yellow. I'm going to click the first arrow. Holding the shift key on the keyboard, I'm also going to select the second diamond. And now I have selection markings around both of these. If I go to the shape fill and decide that I want a white fill and I want a yellow outline, when I make those selections up here in the ruler or above the ruler, both of these are affected at the same time. Let's do another process change. When I come to these large rectangles, I'm going to select all of them by holding down the shift key and clicking on each of them. I'm also going to change the shape fill. I'm going to change it to a white and leave the and change this to a blue color. Now in some of these smaller areas I've created yes and no answers. I'm going to do the same for those. I'm going to change the fill to let's say a light gray and leave those alone. Okay now your process might be different than mine. I've asked about uh, hiring a, pro a person. You might have a process for creating a new product. You might have a process for inventing a new advertising campaign. But there's always processes that require certain steps to be made. And so your business might have a process that's different than mine. Good luck, print your document, and I hope you get hired. Thank you.